What is up everybody, this is Omega Belmung here with, of course, another comic book pickups of the week. I'm looking forward to this week. It was supposed to be a little bit more uh, comic books. I was supposed to get a little bit more comic books, but um, somehow my comic book store didn't have a few of them that I wanted to pick up, so I, I won't be getting them, so I'm going to have to pass up on them. Mostly uh, the biggest one I was looking forward to getting was uh, Batgirl uh, Endgame, which... Um, Guess they didn't have it. I was pretty, pretty peed off, but that's about it's my own fault because I didn't, you know, run, do any orders for that or anything like that. So that's my fault. But um, maybe I'll probably just order them from like Midtown Comics or something like that because uh, usually that's usually where I order from when I was busy with school and when I was, you know, I had class that day. I usually just order, but now I don't have class on Wednesdays and. Uh, but anyways, this is all about comic book pickups. Like I said, as always, from other videos, try to make this short and sweet. And of course, uh, it's just going to be new comic books, nothing of the older type uh, back issues uh, comics, because uh, that would take a long time. <laughs> I used to do that, and now I'm just stuck to doing uh, newer comic books, uh, new comic books that came out this week. So, uh, but anyways, let's just get started because, you know, I don't want to waste too much time. The first off is from Valiant Comics. Uh, this is Divinity Issue 2. And it's a pretty cool, pretty cool comic book, but uh, I might just have to stop it here. I'm not really too interested in it right now, so, uh, you know, I usually try to give it a few more uh, books to go in. So, usually like the second or third book, I'll stop, but uh, I just can't get into it really too much, so... Uh, this will be probably my last issue for that, but anyways, like I said, I'm more of a, I'm more of a comic, uh, a superhero type, uh, you know, reader. I like more, of, like, you know, DC Comics, Marvel Comics, and whatever, uh, any of the images, Image and Dark Horse uh, pumps out, that are, or Boom, or, you know, whatever, uh, they pump out, you know, superhero type comics, and usually I, I get into those instead. Uh, next up is The Amazing Spider-Man issue... 16.1. I hate these, uh, you know, point whatever from uh, Marvel Comics. I'm just not a big fan of that uh, because it's like, oh, maybe it's not, you know, it's not like a real issue, but at the same time, it talks a little bit about a story, but uh, it is what it is. Marvel Comics tend to do that. They do a lot of the number ones over again. <laughs> they like to, to start over with new number ones to get everybody probably into reading more, you know, re getting into the comics. They usually get me, whatever number one pops up, I'm like, oh, I gotta read it now. <laughs> uh, next up is, I haven't really read, it's been a while since I got, you know, the, back into the series. I saw the cover and I was like, damn, I had to pick it up. <laughs> uh, but this is uh, Earth's 2, uh, World's End. It's been a while, I think I stopped at about 8 or 9. So it's been a while since I, I read a, uh, a, a world's and uh, Earth's two worlds and uh, a book. So, uh, but this one is pretty cool, and it does have a cool cover art. I, I totally just, I totally, I should have probably read the the the, uh, the cover art just because, of course, uh, this book has a lot of writers and uh, artists and I guess colors and all that on the. It's like what, one, two, three, four, five, six, like ten names on it, eight names on it on the cover. So I don't know which one's the artist, but. I, I really do love the, the art of the house. So I'll give you guys a closer look at that. Uh, with, of course, Dark Side in the front and uh, Power Girl just standing there like that. And I, I think it looks freaking awesome. Uh, next up is from Marvel Comics. And I tend to kind of go into this because I, I'm a big fan of Silk, too. I think she's pretty cool. Uh, so I try to pick them up as much as I can. Uh, Silk, issue number two. Uh, she's just getting started with her her book and you know right now she's trying to find who or where her parents and brother has gone or her family and then you know she's trying to pick up from you know where she left off so pretty cool stuff uh, maybe we'll get into a little bit more of Silk the character I kind of that's what that's what I want to try to get into is her as a character so uh, I'm super excited uh, next up is Supergirl from DC Comics issue 40 this one pretty much wraps up the the training that she does at, uh, what, oh my gosh, Crucible? Or something like that? I forgot what it's called. Uh, this ends, I think this ends the arc. I think it should, because that's what it is. Uh, it ends the arc, and it's 
it was pretty cool how, you know, she's gone out there and trained to become stronger, and then, uh, you know, things happen. So, <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything. So, uh, like I said, this pretty much ends the arc, and we'll see what happens next to uh, Supergirl. So, uh, next up is Batman Superman issue 20. Pretty cool. This ends another arc, too, for uh, Batman Superman series. Uh, which is pretty cool. It fights against Phantom. Was it Phantom King? Uh, so, you know, it, it was a pretty hectic, hectic book. That's all I can say. <laughs> a, lot, a, lot, a lot of action in here. Tons of action. So, uh, next up is it's from uh, Boom Studios. I just kind of picked it up because I was kind of like, you know, I'm I have really I usually like I said I always go with the ten comic books that I want to read or you know try to limit that. So I kind of want to hit that ten. Uh, Tef bookmark, so I just kind of picked it up, but I really kind of did enjoy it a little bit. Uh, it's from uh, Boom Studios. Uh, I don't know what their the you know the book artists and the writers are uh, because I probably should have looked at that. Maybe that's another note that I was I used to do was to do uh, uh, write down the you know the artists and the at least the artist writer and the producer or something like that. So. Uh, but I, I totally kind of moved that out here. So maybe I'll do that next time because I wanted to kind of know some of their names and things like that. But anyway, this is Giant Days from uh, Boom Studios. I think it was Giant Days. Yeah, Giant Days. Uh, it's pretty it's a simple book. It's not really superhero-y. So it's pretty much like a slice of life kind of deal. Uh, you have these three girls just going throughout their life. I think they're in college, I think, they're, I think so. And it's pretty much just them, you know, hanging around each other, you know, doing just normal things. And there's really nothing in here that really, you know, no action or anything like that. So it was just a pretty cool book to pick up, you know, something to kind of uh, fill up that gap. So uh, maybe I'll pick up the second issue. It's only a six-part series uh, for the book, so uh, it's not too much. And I kind of want to, you know, read uh, because you get a little bit of the insight of one of the characters and, you know, what happened between her and and this guy, so I kind of want to see what ha that happens, so I will probably pick up the next issue once it comes out. Uh, and of course, these are the last three books that, you know, I always talk about. These are the books that I recommend for people to go and try and pick up. Uh, you don't have to pick them up because, of course, these are only my recommendations, nothing else uh, other than that. So, uh, first off is Batgirl issue 40, and a lot of the books are around in the 40th issue, uh, so and we're getting close to convergence, so we'll see. We'll see how that that plays out. In this one, you have Batgirl going against another Batgirl, and uh, it was pretty cool seeing that. Uh, you know, it's I don't remember what it was because I totally forgot what happened in the last uh, the last um, book. And well, this one she's going against this digital like I don't know if it's a digital Batgirl, but it's supposed to be Barbara from uh, uh, you know the pre-52 where she's still in the wheelchair and she's it's so I, don't, I can't explain it but it was pretty cool seeing that and then she was trying to kind of take over this uh, you know Batgirl's body using her little mind thingy would transfer the into her minds and stuff like that so it's pretty cool you see Black Canary in here uh, she was rocking out and <laughs> and she you know, pretty much uh, the other Barbara sent out these, you know, robots or these drones, and she pretty much screamed them to death. So, a uh, pretty cool book, pretty cool uh, insight to see that there isn't just one Barbara Gordon. So, uh, there's another one, and that's the one from the other, uh, the other universe, I guess. So, we'll we'll see what what plays out in Convergence. Pretty cool stuff. And I'm pretty sure everything is kind of leading into Convergence. I feel like a lot of these books are getting there, and they're just kind of. You know, like in June or something, that's, conver that's where Convergence is, and they're kind of just, you know, getting there. So, we still got a little bit more time until June. Uh, not really. <laughs> but time is flying pretty quick, so. Uh, but uh, we're getting there, and we'll, I, I, yeah, I want to see that transition over to the Convergence of where, uh, you know, where DC is going. So, uh, next up is another one from DC Comics. It's not a lot of Marvel ones that, you know, uh, I follow. Uh, the only ones that really is Silk, um, let's see, uh, Miss Marvel, and Spider-Man, and gosh, there's a few other, Inhumans, those are the ones that I really just follow, but 
Uh, you know, I'm trying to pick up on other ones. Maybe you know, if other ones come out and, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to Like Black Cat, I think that there, she's getting a issue too. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, next up is from DC Comics. This is Superman, uh, issue 39. Uh, this one is a follow-up to, of course, issue 38, where <sighs> Superman has used his Super Flare, I think that's what it's called, Solar Flare, Super Flare, or whatever it's called, that kind of drains him of his power. So now he's pretty much human, and he doesn't have any powers. He told uh, Jimmy Olsen that, you know, he is Superman. And, you know, he takes out his clothes and, you know, he's wearing his costume, his, uh, you know, Superman costume. And in this one, you kind of just get a little bit of how Clark felt, or Superman felt, or Clark, whatever you want to call him, uh, felt like a, uh, you know, just a normal human being. And he goes around going doing things like uh, he rescued this girl that was falling off a tree and, he, you know, he roughs himself up and he's, like, bleeding and stuff like that, so... Uh, it's, you know, Superman doesn't bleed, and he even said, and Jimmy Olsen even said, Superman doesn't bleed, and he's like, oh yeah, I've, I've bled before, but he's like, only because, you know, Mongol threw, like, a meteorite at you, or an asteroid at you, and that's the only reason why you would bleed, so, you know, at the same time, Jimmy's kind of like, yeah, you can't be Superman, because, you know, you're, you're, you can't fly, you can't do these things, maybe, maybe you're just playing around with me, so, and you just get a little, little, you know, look at how Superman, or how he, you know, becomes normal and how he reacts to that. He's like, this pretty much just goes out, you know, on a normal day. There's one scene where, uh, you know, s fortunately there wasn't like a big super villain here because Superman pretty much get <laughs> beaten up. But, uh, oh yeah, Super Flare, uh, his super solar flare where he does his power, it pretty much drains him of his powers for I think 24 hours, I think so. I think that's what's the limit to that. Uh, so he, he uses all this energy that's stored up in his, his body, the, all the sun uh, that's stored up in his body and releases it. So now he's pretty much normal for, I think, 24 hours, maybe 12 or 24 hours, or something like that. So now there was a scene where he's like, uh, this guy who had, uh, you know, this lady hostage and has a gun pointed at him. He comes like, you don't want to shoot. And, you know, well, if he shot, Superman would be dead. So, uh, and then he, you know, calms down and Jimmy's like, oh, wait, you know, why did you do that? It's like, I, I just felt like doing it, you know, because he's like, you could have been shot and you could have died. And it's like, ah, it's okay, you know, it's it's part of what I do. And, you know, and then, of course, at the end, he get, gains a little bit of his power back because he's floating in the air. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, I'm always a big fan of Superman. He's probably one of my favorite superheroes. He probably is my favorite superhero. So uh, pretty cool stuff. We'll see what happens again. Um, because at the end something happens, and, uh, it's probably something to do with Convergence also, so we'll, we'll see where that goes. Uh, next up is from Image Comics, another issue, uh, number one issue, uh, it's called the Red One from, and this one's pretty cool because I like when they actually have the full name, uh, first and last name on the cover, a uh, Red One from Xavier Dorson and Terry Dotson and Rachel Dotson, and, they're the artists for that. I, I love the I love the the drawings from uh, Terry and Rachel Dotson. I think they both draw it, but uh, I'm a big fan of it. So, uh, but anyways, this is pretty much a I want to say like a it's a mixture of a superhero and like a secret spy uh, book. Uh, she's kind of she's a spy from Russia, so. Uh, and she's going into the United States. I don't remember why she's going there, but uh, but she kind of has. I don't know if she has powers or not, because I saw her like working out. There's a scene where she's working out and she's kind of like lifting all these big old weights and things like that. And she's and not like you know standing still. She's like doing push the uh, sit ups in mid air with her feet up, and she's like lifting weights like that. And and she's able to run like super far distance and and, and things like that. And nobody can keep up with her. So. Uh, She's gone to the United States. I think it was something about something about superheroes. I can't remember what it was, but she was supposed to infiltrate something, uh, become American, and and uh, you know, and then at the end, of course, it poses that she's in maybe like a movie or something. It's it, I'm still a little iffy on that. I probably need to read read the whole thing again because that was early on today. <laughs> uh, so I, I kind of had to read read that, but you know, I had. Fun reading it. That's that's the coolest thing about it. It was kind of weird, but uh, like I said, this a spy going to the United States, and then you know, I think this is back in like the sixties, seventies. 
I can't remember. So, um, and they, they also talked about Batman and Superman here too. They actually showed like a little scene where he's like, Batman's beating up uh, somebody. They're like, yeah, this is where the United States. The, this is the United States. They love that stuff. They love their superheroes and things like that. And and it's pretty pretty simple stuff. I, I you know I'll take another read at it again and. And, you know, of course, I'm going to actually pick up the next issue and probably try to get into it. Uh, there's not much going on here. It's kind of just setting up the story itself. So hopefully issue two gets a little bit more. We get to know a little bit more about her and uh, and uh, what, she, what she is. And hopefully that doesn't take too long. Because so. <laughs> I kind of want to read it, but at the same time, you know, books get dropped because of something else. You know, because there's something else that came up, and you know, you kind of have to wait between books. And if this is, you know, a series that I enjoy more, maybe it'll get dropped. So hopefully, you, you get a little bit more of that. So, but I do love the artwork from uh, Terry Dotson and uh, Rachel. Is it Rachel Dotson? So I'm a big fan of it. So, uh, anyways, that is pretty much it for you know the comic book uh, pickups of the week. Not much to talk about. A uh, pretty slow week for me. Uh, I remember seeing them on Midtown Comics, having a lot more books, and I probably should have gone, gone through Midtown Comics instead. Uh, but, you know what? You gotta support your local comic book stores. I usually go to them, and they're always good to me. So, uh, if you're in the Minnesota area, or in the St. Paul, Minneapolis, I don't know, Minneapolis might be a little bit too far. But, uh, if you're in the St. Paul area, uh, Source Comics and Games is where I usually go to. So, uh, you know, if you're in the area, go ahead and check them out. They're pretty cool. They're the biggest store in pretty much for a, you know a long ways to go. So <laughs> they're 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 a pretty big store. So, uh, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see everybody next time for some more comic books pickups of the week.